Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, finally, I hear a lot of people thinking, um, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I'm not going to go into the, the whys and what fors, but uh, hopefully this will be somewhat of a triumphant return. I'll be the little one. Uh, I've got just a few charity shop pickups um, to show you today. Uh, some that I got just a couple of weeks ago and some that I picked up uh, this week. Um, Monday morning, which in hindsight, it's probably not the best time to go charity shop hunting. Um, because I imagine most of the best stuff probably has gone at the weekend and any new stuff that they've got hasn't gone out on the shelf yet. Um, as I found, although I did pick up a few bits and bobs, a uh, good uh, trade bait. At the moment, we're in a different location um, for a long, long time since I had the my HD DVDs on the shelf downstairs um, and I packed them away because I know where to put them. I replaced them with some of the Blu-rays and the Arrow, Arrow, my Arrow collection um, and these have been in boxes for a long time. Um, and while I was off at Christmas I uh, butchered a couple of my shelves as you can see. Um, we could probably do with a bit of trim on there but uh, for now I'm happy. I've got my HD DVD collection uh, on display again um, but that's not what we're here for we're going to get into these uh, pickups in just a minute uh, but first I've just got a couple of shout outs um, and a couple of thank yous um, and also thank you to all those people who've messaged me over the last weeks and months just to uh, Ask me <laughs> when I'm coming back, um, and the answer to that I really didn't know, but I'm here now. Um, also, uh, a couple of other YouTubers that have helped me out over the last uh, few weeks and months. Um, one of these is long, long, long overdue. I mean, they're both long overdue. Um, I'm sure uh, most of you have heard of Movie Mad, uh, another YouTuber who collects stuff much like I do. Um, he also goes out and does uh, filming out and about um, and he helped me out uh, last year and it was in the last year on one of his videos um, in one of the charity shops he showed some um, arrow releases um, not the best priced arrow releases I've got to say they were as far as charity shops go they're expensive but there was one in there um, that was a limited edition that I didn't have um, and oddly enough it was of those that they had it was one of the cheaper ones um, and in the grand scheme of things it was it was quite cheap whereas the others were really expensive for what they were um, anyway I, I, I messaged, messaged him and um, James is called Mrs James and I said you know if you're out there next time and they've still got those Arrow Blu-rays, would you pick this one up for me? And the very next day he went out and grabbed it. I uh, sent in the money and some uh, extra for the postage and sent it straight out to me. Um, but again, that's for another video. I'll show that one. So yeah, a big thanks to James for that. Um, also, uh, he had a, a competition uh I want to say last month might have been even in January um, prize draw um, and I was lucky enough to win so he sent me a couple of blu-rays um, uh, Mad Max Fury Road and Fast and Furious 8 so yeah once again thanks very much for that James that was much appreciated um, so yeah uh, and also blu-ray bullet Brit I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, Blu-ray Bullet Brit, uh, Peter, has helped me out, um, enabling my uh, addiction for slipcovers <laughs> over the last few months. Um, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't collect them, so whenever he's got any spares, he's uh, messaged me and said, "Do you need any of these?" And it's mostly yes, please, and he sends one to me. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Um, both those two guys, the channels, I'll link them down below. Um, if you don't already, go and give them a sub or just go and say hi because they, they do some great videos, both of them. Anyway, enough of this uh, rambling on. So, on Monday, like I say, 
um, I had to go uh, looking around Poundland um, or the st I'm getting ahead of myself here on Sunday I was in Poundland my local Poundland and I had a blu-ray a 3d blu-ray that I'd picked up for myself uh, a few days earlier in another Poundland and they only had the one and every time I've seen it, I've only seen it in three and every time I've seen it, each one of them only had the one copy and I got mine on Friday and then I saw this one on Sunday I'd spoken to uh, a friend online on Friday who had expressed an interest and I said, you know, sorry, this one's mine um, it's the only one they've got um, and I saw it on Sunday again so I sent him a message um, do you still want this? Unfortunately, um, I didn't have time to hang around for too long. Um, by the time the reply came back, yes, please, I'd already got home and stupidly I left it on the shelf instead of just getting it. Um, so I said, you know what, I'll go back in the morning. I was working nights. I'm working nights all this week. So I got in on Monday morning uh, at about 7.30, went out for 9 o'clock, uh, got to Poland, it had gone. So I thought I'd make a morning of it, have a wander around the charity shops. There's a few other Poundlands locally. Um, I'd visit a few. And after my fourth one, I thought, I'm not going to find this. Um, and I was about to go home and I thought, there's one more. It's only it's like 15 minutes drive away. I'll, uh, I'll go and give it a look. It's in, funny enough, in the, in the town where I used to work, or near where I used to work, that I... I often used to visit on my lunch shower and there's a few charity shops there as well um, I think I struck out in all the charity shops there at the time but I found it I found the, the Blu-ray that I was looking for in that Poundland once again only the one copy um, so the mission was eventually successful um, the charity shop on tin not so much, like I say, Monday morning, probably not the best idea, but I got a few things to trade and a few things for me. Um, so I've waited on way long enough now. Uh, I was only expecting this uh, video to be a few minutes and already we're <laughs> up seven minutes in. Uh, so yeah, so this first one was, uh, uh, where was it, from the British Heart Foundation. And... It's one that I own on HD DVD, I believe, and I can't get my eyes on it at this moment. Anyway, it's um, Midsummer Night's Dream on Blu-ray. Um, I had it for two ninety nine, and at first I thought oh, they have Blu-rays between three and five pounds. This particular star, um, and I guess they had this at the lowest price at the, <laughs> the price the Blu-rays at because I thought it was uh, something that might not sell so well it'd been uh, ballet but I thought I'd check on the CEX app and spent way too long trying to find it on their, on their app um, when it occurred to me all the time I've been using the app I'd completely forgotten there's a scan barcode feature uh, it makes it so much easier and straight away it was there um, on their website uh, totally out of stock they don't have any in stock and it's an eight pound trade-in so I thought yep definitely getting that so uh, yeah five pound profit on that one but and I haven't actually checked yet um, if they're giving eight pound trade-in I'm wondering if this is worth putting on eBay um, it might be worth sticking on eBay for a few weeks and if it doesn't happen there then taking the trade in at CEX but uh, yeah I was really chuffed that I found that uh, and then the next three I believe or is it four no the next three came from uh, one of many Butwick hospices I went into on Monday um, and these are all 25p DVDs. Uh, so we've got the Battle of Arden, Hitler's Last Stand. Um, to be quite honest, I've never heard of this, but it just looked intriguing. Intriguing, sounded okay. So for 25p, I thought I'd give it a go. And this was the artwork that uh, 
that got me initially and then I saw the title and I thought, hmm, I've got to get this again for 25p. Uh, Batman Ninja. I've never heard of this, didn't know it existed, um, but the artwork is incredible. Uh, DC usually do really good animated movies, but that looks really anime like our style, so they say. Yeah, so uh, 25p, that only came out last year. Uh, and then this, uh, Skellig. I have completely forgotten this even existed. Um, I believe this was a Sky One production, or if not production, it was. I'm, I'm fairly sure it was aired on Sky One way, way back um, in the mid 2000s or early 2000s. But for a very short while, they were doing probably at Christmas, but maybe even at Easter, um, these sort of two part. Uh, three hour mini series um, sort of fantasy things and I think they started with the Hogfather which is one of the Cherry, cherry one of the Terry Pratchett uh, novel adaptations um, and I think this was the second it wasn't a, a Terry Pratchett but it was, this was the second series that they did that, that I can remember at least um, and there's only one thing I ever remember about this, and something about him being inside a shed, which is really weird. Um, or maybe that was something on the preview. Um, so I'm wondering whether I ever saw this or not. But like I say, I had completely forgotten it even existed until I saw this in a different charity shop. Um, that I got something else. Um, but this was on the shelf in another charity shop for a pound. And pretty much because it was something I hadn't, ever seen out and about before and I was curious to watch it that I was about to buy it and like I usually do I popped the discount and checked it and there was some very 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 minor scratches on it which wouldn't have bothered me um, but on the edge of the disc there was a chip about eight to ten millimeters um, and I thought you know for that I'm gonna have to leave it Maybe I could come back for it. And I remember thinking to myself, how how ridiculous would it be if I bought it and then at another charity shop found one uh, cheaper? Not thinking that was ever going to happen because, like I say, I've never ever seen this before out and about. Uh, and what happens 10 minutes later, there was this for 25p. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to, to, to watching that. Uh, then moving on to the, uh, Marie Curie, um, which is where I saw the other one of these, um, and ended up getting the forty four hundred. Uh, this is the complete third season uh, for a quid. I was really happy with that. I've got the first two already. I believe there's a fourth one. Um, but I don't know if that's the extent of the series or not, or whether there was more. Uh, I did watch the first series of this on TV, again, probably on Sky, um, back in the day when it was airing. And I don't know what happened, whether series two never came on TV or on that channel, or whether I just missed it or it started on a different night or I don't know what happened but I never caught up with series two and therefore I never saw any more of the series um, so yeah I'm chuffed again to have got that and I'll be uh, well, no I won't be watching that fairly soon because I'm going to wait until I've got the whole lot um, because if I start them um, you can guarantee I won't find season four and whatever else there is for years. Um, so, yeah, moving on, um, this was when I travelled to a different place, uh, Colby Newham, which is more of an indoor shopping mall, I suppose, out of town sort of place. There's only a few charity shops in there, um, but there is Poundland, which is the reason I went there. Um, stuck out at the Poundland. Uh, one of the charity shops uh, does 
three for a pound on DVDs. The other one does DVDs at pound fifty, which is very rare to get anything in there. And then there's another British Hat Foundation, which again is much the same. Although they've been doing some of their DVDs at uh, three for a pound recently, but they only put selected ones in there. They don't do them all at three for a pound. Uh, so usually it's the rubbish that they can't sell. And again, the Blu-rays are always expensive. Apart from the one that I used to visit quite regular, like I say, close to where I used to work, I could always, well, not always, but sometimes you'll find Blu-ray bargains in there. But well, not very often. Um, so these are all uh, three for a quid. Um, so this one was a, a triple. Um, I suppose you can say box set, but it's not really a box set. But it's three movies. Uh, John Tucker Must Die, Just My Luck and My Super Ex-Girlfriend. Um, this is still brand new and sealed. Uh, another one that's sealed. Um, Bill Hicks, Relentless. Uh, this one I got for trade, although it's, it's only worth a quid, but a quid's a quid. Uh, Dogma. Um, still waiting for a Blu-ray release of this. Um, I'm, I believe there's one in the US. Um, I'm not sure if that's out of print because I keep hearing that it's uh, it's valuable uh, over there. So I'm wondering if it's gone out of print, but there's, there's, I, I had a look and I couldn't find any evidence of a, a UK Blu-ray release of this. Um, but yeah, really, really want this on Blu-ray. Uh, another sealed DVD, French Connection 1 and 2, awesome films. And then these last two, I was aghast that they were selling these as part of the three for a pound. Um, and these again for trade. Uh, so we've got the X-Files, the event series, which having trades at two quid, CX. I might have got these the wrong way around, but I think that's it. And then the X-Files completes season 11, um, which is eight pounds trade at CX. I'm pretty sure it's two and eight, not, not eight and two. Two and eight, yeah, I think that's right. Um, so yeah, I was chuffed to find those. Um, yeah, and that's, <laughs> believe it or not, for a Monday, for out hunting from nine o'clock to almost two o'clock, which I had to stop because I needed to get to bed to get to uh, work on the night shift again that evening or that night. Um, yeah, that's all I picked up. Um, I deliberately didn't do any CEXs. Um, I did go in and have a look, but I didn't pick anything up from CEXs because I didn't have any CEX money. And I, Although I could have traded these, I didn't want to trade them immediately. Um, but again, another day. Uh, so moving on, uh, all these little Blu-rays, and these were picked up a couple of weeks ago. Um, I had, speaking of CEX, gone out to uh, a CEX way out in Catrick Garrison. A uh, place where I used to work a long, long time ago uh, for a short while. And I've been looking for a specific Arrow release online and that was the nearest one to me that had it in stock. Um, and I thought, you know, a nice drive out. I mean, it was nearly a 50 mile round trip, but it was a day out. Um, it was a Sunday, as I recall. Uh, and I decided to come home the senior room because I wanted to stop off. No, it wasn't a Sunday. It must have, must have been a Saturday because the charity shops wouldn't have been open on the Sunday. Um, yeah, town where I used to, where, where I was literally grew up, a place called Yarm, which isn't that far away from here, but uh, as I thought, on the way back, I could pass through, um, if I can get parked up, I'll have a wander around. There's only four charity shops. And it'd been a, a bit of a, I wouldn't say it's a posh town, it's a small town. Um, the high street is mostly boutique, private boutique type stores. There's very little in the way of high street shops. It's only small. You've got boots and uh, boys. I think that's it for high street. And usual banks and bills and societies. Um, but as a consequence, I guess, the charity shops, for the most part, are expensive. Um, but I did find, in uh, again, another Butterwick Hospice, a couple of Blu-rays for 50 pence each. They had a sign up. Um, the last time I was in there, all, all the DVDs were a pound, but they, they put a, a little sign up saying all 
uh, CDs and DVDs, 50 pence each. So I picked these two up and uh, a box set of Battlestar Galactica. Series three or four, I can't remember now. And when I went to the checkout, she wanted uh, £2.50 for Battlestar Galactica. And I said, I'm sure it's not 50p? Sound says 50p. Oh no, she says that's 50p per disc. I said, um, that's not what your sign says, it, it just says 50 pence each. Anyway, she wasn't going to have it, she wasn't going to let me have it for 50p, she wanted £2.50, so I said, you know what, I'll leave it, I'll just stick with these two Blu-rays. Um, so, 50 pence each, District 9, and Book of Eli, love this movie, it's a while since I've seen it, um, and it's actually the second one I've picked up, uh, picked another one up in January or February, I think. Um, so why did I get it? I mean, technically I've already got that, but it's one of those limited edition, let's say limited edition, one of those, one of those slipcover editions from HMV. Um, so yeah, I got this for 50p. Um, it's, it'll, it'll do as a, you know, something for trade or swaps or whatever. I don't think it's worth anything in CX, CX sell it for £1.50, which I think is where I got the other copy that I've got from. Anyway, yeah. Then this last bunch, um, <laughs> of all places, Oxfam. And on this particular Oxfam, they, they have the DVDs in baskets out the front of the shop. I don't know what they do when it's raining because there's not much floor space inside. I don't know where they would keep them. Um, but yeah, they're normally out the front of the shop at. Uh, 69 pence each, a, again they have a sign, 69 pence each or two for a quid. And then inside on a very little shelf, if they have any box sets, they have them in there and they're individually priced. Uh, but they also had two really small baskets with Blu-rays in and one said 99 pence each and the other one said 69 pence each. Uh, so for the 99 pence ones, I only picked up a couple. I got... Uh, Deja Vu. Um, again, this, I like this film. I really do like this film. The end, though, disappoints me. I, I didn't like the way this film ended. Um, but for the most part, I guess something's, something's got to do with the fact that it's time travel. I've always been a sucker for a time travel story. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a decent movie, just with a, I think, a lazy ending. Uh, Oblivion. This one I got because... Uh, I saw my steel book last year as I was getting rid of most of my steel books, so this kind of replaces that. Uh, and all of these, unfortunately, are missing the, the digital codes. Those that come with the UV code, none of them have the digital codes in, so unfortunately, I can't give any of them to you. Uh, another one that I had a uh, steel book of, um, Gladiator. Um, this was one of the 69 pence ones. In fact, all of these ones now were the 69 pence ones. Um, I didn't expect, but I was quite uh, pleased when I got the checkout that he priced these up at two for a pound. So all these 69 pence ones came out at two for a pound. So Gladiator. Um, I think this is a, yeah, it's a double disc. Uh, then brand new sealed, Dust Till Dawn 3. The Hangman's Daughter. Um, I've already got the second one, and that was factory sealed as well. I think I got that from Poundland last year, um, which they had to. Um, in, but oddly, Dust of Dawn 2 was one of the 99p Blu rays, and Dust of Dawn 3 was one of the 69p Blu rays. Go figure. Um, so, yep, new and sealed. Uh, Man of Steel, um, I already had the 3D version of this, but uh, yeah, for 50p, why not? Then, no digital copy, unfortunately. Uh, Lucy, I need to watch this again. Uh, and this is another one I got a steelbook of. Um, and it was one of those ones that um, I got duped by Zavi. We're back in the, uh, the crazy days of steelbooks. Well, it wasn't even the crazy days of steelbooks. Um, but they used to play their um, out-of-stock card, which I don't know if they do that anymore. Uh, maybe they do. 
um, but this was one of those ones that uh, it pre-ordered a long time before release. I want to say about three or four months before release. Uh, maybe even more than that, and went out of stock almost immediately and stayed that way uh, until just before release. Uh, and then came back into stock and they had in stock for about two years. So why they spent so much time with it out of stock, um, obviously to generate interest to get people to buy it, I suppose. Uh, it kind of worked for them because... Like I say, it was in stock for a very long time, the steelbook version. Um, and I bought into it and bought it, panic bought it, thinking that it would go out of stock. It didn't. And I didn't enjoy it. And I've only seen it once. So I need to watch this again um, and see if I can change my mind. But again, 50p. Uh, Interstellar. Still haven't seen this. Um, this is a two disc, yeah, I thought this was a two disc. This is another one that uh, I have twice now. Um, the other copy I bought came with the slip cover, so I had to grab it. Uh, but again, 50p. And then finally, uh, I couldn't believe this was in there. Um, this I bought for uh, CX Trade, um, trading in it, I think it's eight pounds. I need to look again, because I haven't looked since last week um, and this is steel book of Shankshaw Redemption uh, sorry there's no J card on it but um, I don't think she uh, really care about that something that when I collected steel books was a must um, I'm a bit uh, OCD about that having everything complete um, but yeah, as I was getting it for trading, the, 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 the still book itself is in pretty good condition. I think there's a few light chips around the edge here and there, but there doesn't appear to be any dents. Um, so yeah, this itself more than pays for all of those Blu-rays. Uh, so I was really chuffed. And I know I keep saying that, but it was when I saw that in there, I couldn't believe it. Um, I pretty much bought every 69p Blu-ray that had bar two. And the two that I didn't buy, there was a Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Blu-ray, which is obviously a US release. Um, but there was no barcode on the back and it was uh, it looked to be part of a uh, collection box set. But it was only the one movie, so somebody split, obviously split them and given that to the charity shop. I don't need another copy of uh, of Harry Potter, even though it is a different cut of the movie in the States um, compared to pretty much everywhere else. Um, but that cut I do own on, again, on HD DVD. Um, and it's in front of me somewhere, um, but I can't see it right now. Uh, no. Where is it? Isn't that weird? Is that it? No. Oh, I'm going looking in the wrong spot. That's why. Uh, I still can't see it. Anyway, regardless of that, I've got it on HD DVD somewhere. Um, so yeah. My God, this video has gone way too long. I thought it was going to be here for a few minutes. Uh, I mean, look at how much I've got. It's taken, I mean, this part is nearly 20 minutes and there was the section before that that uh, I had to do a quick cut for. Um, I hope that you've all got to the end. Um, and if you haven't, then it doesn't really matter because whatever I say now, you're never going to see. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, I'm hoping, no, I'm not hoping. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to do some more. I'm, I've, I've, um, I've been putting this off for, for too long. Um, I don't know what's going to come next, um, but it'll probably be either Poundland, because I've got a few Poundland Blu-rays, um, considering the drought that's been in Poundland for the last few months, 
bar the last few weeks of course um, I've got CX I've got even a bunch of uh, music magpie um, I've been buying quite a few of those over the last few months so there'll be something coming um, as what as which one first I don't know um, I need to get out to the post office today because I've got a parcel to send and then I've got to get to bed by about two o'clock um, so I can get up for work later on so whether I'll get another one done today um, is doubtful but you never know um, I'll get this upload, uploaded once I've edited it together um, but that's probably a redundant uh, statement because you already know that if you're already watching it anyway rambling once again yeah thank you very much for being so patient and uh, everybody who's uh, stuck with me um, I know a few people have unsubscribed and I can't blame them um, but just as many have subscribed in that time as well whether it's the same people that have come back I don't know um, so yeah cheers very much and I will speak to you again very soon I hope Ta -ra.